How's it going everyone and welcome back to Project Element. Uh, again today I am out here with my sister's uh, 2000 Honda Accord um, and today we will be doing some distributor work on her distributor. Um, I'll get into that here in a minute but anyways let's go ahead and get into the video guys and I'll be back here in just a minute. Okay guys so here is the engine to her car and uh, right down here is the distributor. I did remove the distributor cap yesterday and the distributor rotor, which was on here. Um, I believe it's a couple seven millimeter bolts, three seven millimeter uh, bolts that hold on the distributor cap. And then it's one eight millimeter bolt uh, right down here that holds on the distributor rotor. So what happened to me when I was trying to take this off yesterday is one of the distributor cap bolts right down here actually broke off into the distributor. So now I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, pull the whole distributor out and take it up to our shed, see if I can get that bolt out. And then I'll run to the store, grab the new distributor cap and rotor and reinstall the distributor. So uh, this is actually just held in right here. Let me adjust this with, uh, I can even show you guys, two 12 millimeter bolts. There's one right here, actually, right there. And I probably... Sorry guys, can't show you that one because the angle's weird, but there's one back here, underneath here, right under the distributor. So I'm gonna go ahead and prop up this tripod and go ahead and remove those. And like I said before guys, uh, it's just two 12 millimeter bolts on the distributor that holds it on. I've got a 12 millimeter deep well socket and 12 millimeter extension uh, with a three eighths inch driver. I'm just gonna go ahead and break those loose so we can go ahead and remove this distributor. So the first one back here, that on there. And there's also this one connector right here that you're gonna have to disconnect. There we go, that connector's popped off. I'm gonna go ahead and break loose this other 12 millimeter bolt. All right there, there's one. I'm gonna go ahead, set the ratchet aside, and go ahead and loose another one just with my fingers. It's already broken loose. It's kind of in an awkward place. Be able to grab it and loosen it with your fingers, but I should have it here any second. And right there, the second one is out. Now the whole entire distributor should just pull right off. And you wanna be mindful not to move uh, the rotor right here because uh, we wanna make sure it's in that one orientation. So when we go to put everything back in, it falls right back in the right place. Uh, and um, so the timing, we don't mess up the timing. So I'm actually gonna pause this video or just show you guys in the video as a reference for myself uh, so I know which way it goes. It's actually got this little mark right here, this little line to show you the orientation it's in. So I'm going to go ahead, pause the video, take a picture of this so I know exactly where it is. So if it does get moved, I can put it back where it needs to go. So when I reinstall this. So anyways, guys, uh, that's all it is. It's all it takes to remove the distributor. I'm going to go ahead and take this up to the shed and see if I can't get this little bolt right here out that uh, broke off on me when I was working on this yesterday. So anyways, guys, I'll be back here in a little while. 
Okay, guys, we are back. So I started filming some of this yesterday. And what happened was I was not able to get that broken screw out of the old distributor. So I actually went to the junkyard this morning and pulled this one off of a uh, 2001 Honda Accord and I just finished cleaning it up. I just used some brake cleaner and sprayed down everything and uh, used a rag and wiped everything down. This is the old one. As you can see, we tried to drill the hole out but we couldn't get it centered and couldn't get the old screw out. Uh, so we figured it would just be better to go ahead and get the new distributor. So we went ahead and I picked this one up from LKQ uh, here in Maryland. We went ahead and picked that up. I think it was only like $27 with all of their fees and everything. So it actually was a pretty good deal. Um, I didn't want to get the distributor cap and rotor from the junkyard either though. I wanted to kind of, I guess you could say do kind of a little bit of a rebuild. Everything inside is still all right, but I've also got the new distributor cap over here and the distributor rotor here and the distributor O-ring that goes on the bottom of the uh, distributor under there. So let me go ahead and get this uh, tripod set up uh, in a good angle and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys me assembling this and putting everything back together and then we'll go ahead and go back out to the car and go ahead and get it installed. So I'll be back here guys in just a minute. All right guys, so here's the new distributor I just picked up from the junkyard. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and flip this over and take a small pair of needle nose pliers and see if I can get off this uh, rubber O-ring right here. Uh, work that off so I can go ahead and put the new one on. So let me see if I can uh, work with that here and try to get that off. You know, let me see if I have a little screwdriver. So the whole thing just tore off. That's most of the time when I was looking into these and seeing people do stuff, that's what happens, they break. So we've got the new one right here. Okay, pop that open. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. should just slide right on over. And there we go, that O-ring is on. That's how simple it is to change that. I just took the little uh, pocket screwdriver, popped it off. It broke, as you can see, slide the new one on. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and flip this back over. And we're gonna go ahead and unbox the rotor, which is right here. Distributor rotor. This is the brand new one. This can only go on one way. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my, you need an eight millimeter socket, which is right here. I've got it sitting back on the table. And go ahead and remove the little eight millimeter nut or bolt that's right here. Whole thing should just come right off. And like I said before, the distributor rotor can only go on one way. There's a hole in it. It'll line up with the hole on the shaft here. You just pop the whole thing on. It just pops right in. Put this in a better angle so we can get the little bolt back in. Just go ahead and put that back on. Use the socket to spin it on. Now these aren't on very tight. You could, I would just suggest snugging them. All the ones I've taken apart were basically only hand tight, so I'm just gonna go a little more than that and just snug this up just the slightest bit. Right there, that's good. The rotor is now on. Uh, next thing we need to do is go ahead and grab distributor cap. Gonna remove this gasket out of here and we're gonna go ahead and fit the gasket uh, to the distributor and then we'll go ahead and put on 
the distributor cap. And as always guys, I will link the parts I use for this distributor in the description down below. I just went to advanced auto parts. Um, but if you guys are interested in these parts at all, I will link them down below as usual. So let's see how this goes on. Should go on just like, maybe not, just like this. There you go. There's little tabs on here. So the whole thing should just kind of line itself up. There's a little groove that goes all the way around, little tabs that stick up, and the whole thing should just kind of fall right into place, just like that. There's little tabs here, here, and there's one here, and one over here, and the whole thing kind of just falls right into place. Uh, next thing we need to do now is just take the distributor cap, make sure there's no dust in there, off. I'm going to go ahead and take the distributor cap and put it right on the distributor. It can only go one way. There's these little notches on here to help everything line up. So just like that, sit that on there and we'll go ahead and grab the little bolts that come with it. There's three of them and they are, I believe, seven millimeter. So I'll go ahead and probably get these started with my hand. And then I'll go ahead and snug them up with the uh, ratchet. So one, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and snug those up now. And that is how you put the distributor cap on, uh, the distributor cap gasket, the distributor rotor, and the distributor O-ring on the bottom here. So next thing that's very important, like I told you guys, I did take a picture of this yesterday. Uh, when you do uh, go to, uh, what's it called? Put this back in your car. There's this little groove right here that you want to make sure is lined up the same direction as it was when you took it out of your car. If not, your timing will be messed up and your car won't start. Uh, it can only go one of two ways. So if you have it the wrong way, what you gotta do is make sure it's the right way. So I suggest like I did yesterday, since I'm working on all these, I just took a picture for reference. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the same exact spot because it'll kind of fall into place once you put it in. Uh, but that's it for this, guys. I'm gonna actually get ready to go ahead and go down to the car and take you guys with me and show you how um, we install this back in the car. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm down here by the car uh, now. I did take a look at my reference photo and did align this how it was supposed to be. Like I said, it can only go in one way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this camera set up and go ahead and show you guys uh, how easy it is to put back in. Everything should just slot together. And then you have the two, uh, right up here, 12 millimeter bolts. And I've got a 12 millimeter deep well socket and extension to be able to reach everything. It is gonna be a little tight on the back end because when I did take this distributor off, I did not have the cap on, so it gives you a little more clearance. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and see if I can go ahead and get that put on now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this lined up. Get these 12 millimeter bolts started. So one, pull the extension and the socket off. And use it to just go ahead and get these hand tight.
turkey one is gonna be the one in the back here. You can't really see it. It's hard for me to show you guys on camera, but I'm gonna go ahead, actually pop this over out of the way. Let's see if I can get down in here, feel around to get this in. Okay, so this is the hardest part probably. right there, but I just can't quite reach it. There, let's see if I can get this to go in. I think I got it. Yep, there it goes. Yep, I got that in, guys. It's all set. Now I'm going to just go ahead, take the socket and everything, and go ahead. Make this sure this is on tight and go ahead and snug these up. Like everything, don't over over torque it. That should be good. Go ahead and plug the connector in back here. And now I have to look at my reference photo so I can see how the spark plug cables uh, connect. I believe it's pretty, pretty simple because they kind of all just fall into place, but I'm gonna go ahead and check that now real quick, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I connected up all of the uh, cables running to the distributor. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. Um, it's pretty simple. They all just run run over and kind of just fall into place. Uh, you can use this as a reference if you want. You can pause the video and take a look at this and uh, kind of do that. I would suggest taking a picture yourself so you know where everything is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle and make sure everything is uh, running okay now. And then uh, that'll be pretty much it, guys. So let's go ahead, see how it sounds. Well, that started up good, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, everything went back in all right. I got the 12 millimeter bolt in. Sorry, the engine's running now. I got the 12 millimeter bolt in in the back. So, uh, like I said before, guys, um, as you take the distributor apart, it's the same as putting it back together. So you can kind of just reverse the steps. I know I wasn't able to show much at the beginning when I took it off, um, but that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, Go ahead and give it a like. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.